All right, welcome to Amsterdam. Finally, the sun is shining. It's uh, the 1st of February. I'm just here for a long weekend, checking out the city, meeting some friends. So we are in the red light district. the 1st of February and it's a really sunny nice day here in Amsterdam I wish I had my sunglasses with me now I just love walking around the cozy narrow streets looking at all the nice buildings it's a really cozy city to visit of course I recommend to come in the summer but also it can be nice days in the winter time also. And I didn't didn't believe uh, I didn't believe it's going to be so much people here now in the winter. It's packed with people all over. I met up with Daniela, who I couch surfed with many years ago in uh, was it Italy, Pescara. Pescara. Abruzzo, Pescara. Yeah. Beautiful city in the south uh, east of Italy. And now she lives here in Amsterdam. She's been showing me around a little bit. We had the lunch. Been checking out the red light district. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. It's been uh, many years and we meet again. This is the uh, fastest fast food you can get. You just pay and it's ready. You came here a lot? <laughs> <laughs> this is the Dam Square. You have the famous Madame Tussaud. The Royal Palace here. Oh, and a beautiful church. A lot of people. Ooh. I love all these uh, narrow buildings, and you have all in different uh, angles here. It's not like 90 degrees all of this because of the the ground here is not stable. It's water and like very muddy sediments. So this is how they get out things up in the apartment buildings in Amsterdam. Because the hallways are so narrow, they have to lift it up via ropes like this. And you see all the buildings here have uh, hooks. So you can uh, attach a rope and lift it like this. Pull it up. The city of Amsterdam is one of the best organized cities for bicycles. We have very good lanes and roads for bicycles. So all over the city you find more cyclists than you find uh, cars. When walking around in Amsterdam, be aware of the cyclists. They often come around in high speed and get pissed if they have to brake for you. Hey, 
lot of money. Yeah? This is where you can rent a room. Now we are in Waterloo Plain. Here they have a market for antiques and all kinds of stuff, second hand stuff. Old shells for uh, ammunition. Cool. And one euro for Bob Marley and the Whalers. Oops. Sensor. Porno. Vintage. Self-portrait of Vincent van Gogh. Oh, damn. Okay, so I'm uh, here in a Dutch pub here. I'm gonna try. What do you call it? Uh, bitter ball. Bitter ball. Bitter ball. Bitter ball. Bitter ball. Okay. And you uh, dip it in mustard. Yeah. Be careful because it's hot. Well, you will like it. Oh. <laughs> oh. It's like. Mm. It's not like meat. It's like a. Ragu. Yeah. yeah, ragu. Yeah, ragu. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it's good. Oh. So I'm not really sure what Dutch food. Like, yeah, so no. this is the one thing. Yeah. This is really Dutch. Yeah. Well, stampel. Yeah. We also have stampel. Yeah. Stampel. Yeah. Potatoes with um, vegetables. With kale. Actually, with kale. With kale is vegetable. Yeah, I'm biting. Mm. Carrots. And a dammer. Go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. Very good. Yeah. Um, beer. I'm gonna go for this one. Stump pot. It's one of the traditional uh, and the uh, it's their signature this year. The real Dutch stampoot. Mashed potatoes, vegetables, served with a sausage of butcher lumen, a meatball and bacon. That's right. Meatball, sausage, bacon. And this is uh, some spinach uh, stew together with the uh, potatoes. Let's taste it. Pretty good. That's traditional Dutch food.